Now what you see here is my lucky find of an old-fashioned piano picture frame. It is very solid, made out of wood. It came with a piece of glass and piano keys. The glass I don't think I will be using, but the piano keys I will return later on. So I already started by attaching some screws. Then I realized the camera wasn't running, so I'm going to backtrack. This little piece is a miniature curtain rod. I think it belongs into a dollhouse. And so two screws that come with a little loop at the end will help me attach that securely. Now in order to screw that into this wood, which is rather hard, I first make a little hole with a nail and then these little screws go in rather easily and the pliers will help me to turn them just the right way and get them in really tight. Now from here on I will be gluing down a whole bunch of doodads, like so often. I again use E6000 and I start with these metal corners and in order to bend them into the shape I need I had to take out those screws one more time. And here you can see that they fit nice and tight. And as soon as both corners are done, I continue by attaching gears, round elements. Some of these are broken jewelry pieces. And then a big rose, which is a broken earring. Now the rest of it gets decorated in similar fashion, but I won't show you every detail because my stash will look very different to yours and it's a lot of gluing, so rather repetitious and boring. But here is a close-up so you can see what things I use to decorate the rest. And that includes a clothespin, I use some springs from the handyman department, a lot more broken jewelry pieces, a small fork, some beads. I also uh, used some of the strips of bling you can buy at the dollar store. I used a mirror here on this side. Uh, some of these uh, jewelry pieces are charms and so on. Here at the bottom I left a couple of empty spaces as I want to add two big stars later on. But first a bit of texture paste mainly on the legs and any of the other areas that didn't get any decorations. And then a little bit at the edge so to combine the front of the piano with the back because there was a little gap. This will make it look a lot more solid and the texture paste of course uh, molds it all together and gives the special look I'm after. So now everything is dry and I cover it with black gesso. For the most part again off camera because it takes a couple of coats. So now it is done, it's dry and I prepare some color so I can bring out the texture using a dry brush. Today I opted to use my rusty paste and two or three different type of metallic acrylic paints and then I just use a light touch to bring out all the different elements I added to this little piece. As many of you know this is the type of look I really like. I like just uh, a hint of color, not too much, and that's the very reason why I will use my second color also rather sparingly. Now this is a wax and many people use it uh, in its full capacity, which will turn it very, very green. But I just want a little bit here and there and combined with my first layer, it turned into a pleasant color and I'm quite happy with it. It also blends well with the color of the curtain rod and some other elements I plan to add later on. So now to those two stars I talked about earlier. Now these are rather bright and after gluing them down I decided to change their color and paint them pretty much the same way I painted the rest of the elements. And to me that uh, looked a lot better. Now from here on I will of course work 
on more detailing, but it's all pretty simple and self-explanatory. So I will let you listen to some music. I will put anything you need to know in the captions, and I will talk to you towards the end. So adding two beads, one to each side, was the last thing I did. And now everything is completed. And of course, I want to give you one more closer look. So here are my dangles. As you saw earlier, I made them all in different length. And of course, they can be moved over. And here is the inside. Vintage images always make me curious about the type of life they lived. So I added the guitar for hobbies and the vintage car for lifestyle and the teddy bear for childhood. Now, of course, the crystal gave it all a bit of a mysterious element, which I always like. You see my mirror here on the left side, and there are those two dangles I created at the end. I left the foot pedals down here in pure black, and the dangles actually have elements which also are symbolic of life. Yeah, things we all have to do to make it work. So there's this little piece, 
And when I put these assemblages together, the process is very similar. So I went ahead and made two more without a process video. But first the lantern, and here's a photo of what it looked like before I got started with it. And now it has a beautiful rusty copper tone. And here too, I used very similar elements. It was a little more tricky because some of the areas were very thin and harder to work with. The handle has some rope. The very bottom has some broken pottery pieces. I have also some bling and more broken jewelry again. And yes, it turns on. So here is my little lantern. And then I decorated this gramophone. And again, here's a photo of what it looked like before I started. It's made out of metal and rather heavy. And I again decorated in very similar fashion. So it came with a little handle, but I extended it by adding a bead, more jewelry pieces, more bling pieces all around. Here on the needle, I added a rose from a broken earring. Uh, again, more charms. And then the front here, I added mostly tiny pieces uh, from inside a watch. So tiny gears and so on. Now when it came to the speaker, I used some uh, bendable jewelry pieces and quite a lot of beads. Just so I could maintain the nice shape. It also has texture paste again. And here on the bottom on the turntable, I also added some jewelry pieces. I think it was a big round earring. And then I added a chain so I could have a little dangle. This was really the only place to attach it to. And I couldn't make them very long because there isn't a whole lot of room there. But they're long enough to carry a key, as you can see, and a piece from a necklace. And it's a very pretty stone and it's embedded. On the other side, you see it has some nice metal work. So those uh, look really cool on it, I think. And now, of course, the inside of the speaker. Well, I added a tea strainer here, which I colored, some beads which were painted over and then some micro beads which are in their natural colors which is a kind of a multi-colored uh, metal look so i like the way it came all together here i used a bit of teal metallic colors some champagne which is an off white color and i tried to shade it a bit especially the inside of the speaker. So here are my three pieces. Now originally I had thought about adding these to my Etsy store, but I had a visitor come over and he saw my art room and bought this little piano. So that's already gone. And now the lantern here, I like it, but I realized that the glass, which is not glass, it's plastic, uh, scratched but quite a bit in the process. It also didn't do well when it got in touch with glue. Taking it off didn't work very well either because this is actually a plastic uh, item I got at a dollar store. So yeah, I'm not so happy with it. I mean, all the stuff I put on it made it more sturdy, but the glass just didn't work out for me. And you can take it out. So this will just be a keepsake on my shelf. But this little thing, this is very solid. I think it came out nicely and eventually it will go in my store. But I let you know when that is the case. So I really hope that you found some new ideas and inspiration in my little assemblages. Now working on things like this is definitely easier when your structure is very solid, made from metal or wood, but you can work with strong cardboard or plastic as long as you can cover the whole structure because by adding this many small elements to it, you can make anything rather strong. But the glass part, on this lantern just didn't work out for me. I actually even tried to cover it in paper, but it still didn't look right, but no harm done. So I hope you give it a try. Come and see me soon again. Bye bye for now.